For three years, we have been experiencing a real campaign of mass killing worldwide, either through alleged pandemics and the imminent need to inject untested vaccines that kill people. Or through wars that reduce the world's population, but rearranges international politics, realigns power poles, and alters borders. We have lived to witness the production of earthquakes on command which is actually an attack on Turkey by the greatest of the world, who totally disliked being set up by Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The President of Turkey Moreover, his position of neutrality and mediator in the Ukrainian-Russian war deeply disturbed them, especially since Turkey is the second great power from a military point of view within NATO. His position to block Sweden's accession to NATO, his speech in Davos, as well as the gesture of leaving in the middle of the press conference, defying Schwab, did not remain without an echo in the cold world of leaders the world. But, no one thought that people would have to die, so many people, and in such a terrible way. And it's just a warning, because it wasn't the most populated area of Turkey. 150 aftershocks of a devastating earthquake, the second larger than the first, without the existence of an epicenter, the area being artificially stimulated. Geological weapons having existed for a very long time, being used so far without causing too many casualties, probably for experiments. Now, it has been put into practice. If we look carefully at the map of Turkey, we will see that it is furrowed by gas and oil pipelines this being actually one of the goals, their destruction. But, 10 seconds before the occurrence of the so-called earthquake, the Turks closed these pipelines. In addition, 24 hours before the earthquake, 10 countries withdrew their ambassadors from Turkey. Five days before its occurrence, the Romanian Ministry of Foreign Affairs issued a travel warning for Romanian citizens in Turkey, although there was no danger, as did other countries. By killing people, they served their interests. The maps shown on all the television channels showed that there was no epicenter, but a line with thousands of earthquakes. The Turkish secret services are investigating a possible criminal intervention. What followed later being a chain reaction after the destabilization of the tectonic plates in the region. It is very clear that President Erdogan was punished for his courage dignity and honor and for his closeness to the Russian Federation, in fact a position of neutrality and mediation for peace. In addition, it is desired to divert people's attention from Ukraine, where representatives of many countries have already begun to shout against the despotism and orders given by President Zelensky. As if he is ruling the world and someone is obliged to send weapons and participate in his war, in a war where he sacrificed his own people and destroyed his entire country. Anyone who speaks of peace is put on the pole of infamy and attacked from all sides. This is what happened in Romania when I started the unique initiative, Neutrality for Romania. The peace from Bucharest. They all rushed at me, although now, after one year of war, almost all of them say everything that I said and supported from the beginning. Claiming now they are the owners of these ideas. Plagiarists. Pharisees. Judas because of you, people have died and continue to die, you all have hands stained with the blood of millions of people killed for the interests of some madmen who wish to rule the world. Unfortunately, at the Romanian leadership level, we only have incompetence, idiots, plagiarists, thieves, robbers, criminals, cowards, traitors, and the list goes on.